Where this home once stood, you'll find a man searching for what's lost. Tend to get wet right now and not as comfortable for them. Ben Lepe is searching for lost pets. Many who survived the campfire now call the rubble home. I filled it with food yesterday and it was gone. Ben is setting up this trap to catch this dog seen on a trail camera. Yeah, he's got a blue collar. His traps he work. And steps on his plate. It'll... Especially when the what dog or cat is desperate to eat. Hopefully he stays in. Ben has been very successful. On Sunday, he trapped Kingston after scouting him for two weeks. It's cool. It, it, it's an awesome, rewarding feeling to know that you have them safe and they're, gonna, they're not going to be cold or hungry. They don't have to search for food. But uh, as in Kingston's uh, case, what's even more rewarding is that the family. I mean, they, he's going home. Kingston was reunited with his owners with the help of Friends of Campfire Cats. There's roughly 42 cats. We have a few that are up and out. Many of these cats belong to people who survived the campfire. If you do not have proof that your animal has perished, please do not give up. They take care of mostly cats. And that's really what we do is we just rescue cats all night long. But they jump to the opportunity to give Kingston a bath and give him back to his family. For people that have lost everything, to be able to reunite them with an animal that they thought they had lost is, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a rewarding feeling. It's a good feeling to get them home get them safe. Ben is still searching himself. I'm waiting for my turn when my Colby from two and a half years comes home. Wherever Ben went, Colby would follow. He'd, he'd go with me all over. He even... Two years ago, he went missing. Waiting for him. Ben hopes by setting these traps and helping families find their pets, he'll find his Colby someday. He, he's an amazing little guy. In Paradise, Madison Meyer, ABC 10 News.